Hi, Rob Lukey, here to talk about the changes in home prices in relationship to interest rates. A lot of people are wondering, hey, what's that correlation? And how did inflation drive all of this and so forth? In 2021, I put out a YouTube update stating that we were going to see a peak in real estate, short-term peak in real estate prices in the first quarter, first half of 2022, which we saw, and that we would see a drop in prices in the second half, which we saw. We're seeing a move up. This is a January, February, excuse me, of 2023. The question is, is that is this a longer term strengthening in the real estate prices or is this just seasonally? I think it's both. So what happened in the past to real estate prices and higher interest rates? If we go to our chart over here, what we'll see is that we'll see that this, this is the interest rates increasing and this is that home prices, the increase in home prices year over year, okay? So as we can see pretty easily with interest rates at a higher, at lower levels, right? Down in the 2%, 3%, these interest rates down here into this level, we had a huge increase in home prices, but that that also correlated with higher inflation, which then led to an increase in interest rates. But look what has happened when we plot this out. Even though the market, the real estate prices decelerate, we don't have any type of drop in year over year annual appreciation unless we hit recession timeframes. That's when this changes and you see obviously year over year go negative. So it's super important to remember that we have this environment right now that even though we have higher interest rates, they, they, they doesn't necessarily correlate to drop in prices. And again, I'm not saying we didn't see a drop in prices from the, the peak because we had, right? We had that fluff move, which everybody was expecting because you had all the buyers trying to get in before you had these big increases in interest rates, right? So we had that happen and that, I, I don't even consider that part of the move really. And that was 20% from basically, you know, October, November timeframe into the peak uh, of early 2022. That, that was all fluff from people trying to get into this driven by this idea that the interest rates are going to go up. So that, por that portion of the market, besides that, we haven't seen much of a drop in year over year increase in, in actual home prices. And I, and I don't think you are going to. I think that you're going to see the market, the real estate market will decouple from the stock market. I think the stock market is going to go higher over the next two to five years, you know, trend higher. I also think that the actual home prices, even in spite of having higher interest rates, will obviously the acceleration will slow. It won't be 20%, but it'll come back into these levels here with higher interest rates in place. I think that's what you're going to see. And I think that you could see that trend occur over the next three to even seven years as possible. So that's my thought. We'll see who's right. I think that we're going to really be able to tell what occurs as we approach the second half of this year. So hope everybody has a great day. Always feel free to reach out to Shop Prop. I did want to talk to everybody about our uh, home buyer and seller dashboard. I hope everybody's using it. I hope you, you like it. It makes home buying and selling as frictionless. And our goal is, is to make it more and more frictionless so that you get automatic updates of we, each stage of the transaction you're in with Shop Prop. Whether you're selling or buying, you get to see the process and you get to go through that transaction funnel. And also you have a secure place to transact real estate business. I hope that helps. Have a great day.